Hey everybody, it's Jay from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. This is going to be the install of the aux locker and setting up your shims and getting your pinion set up and your pinion preload, your uh, differential and pinion preload and everything else and how, what I did to get it going. This is going to be the long version and then there's going to be a short version afterwards. So fucking just drink some beer and get to work. Now we gotta set up our shim thickness. Now you can go off of your old readings, off your old shims, and that'll give you like a base starting point. Or you can use your dummy bearings, if you're using dummy bearings like I did. And we're gonna stick the dummy bearings in without shims, and then measure the distance when you push it forward towards like the pinion side. Zero out the dial, then push it back, and that'll give us our total space. Now we got quite a bit of play in there because there's no shims. So now we gotta seat the bearings. So gently tap it, maybe rotate it. Use a rubber mallet, don't be using a steel one. Now when you install your bearing caps, hopefully you stamped them and those have to go in the same way again. Well I can't get a camera set up on this little Gorilla tripod enough to for you guys to be able to see, but for this part here to measure without the pinion, I gotta hold this back, zero out my dial, and then push it all the way forward, and then take that reading. So my original measurement of the shims puts me at 0.119, and the measurement I took with the new differential gives me 0.098 plus 0 0.008 for preload gives me 0 0.106 with the new differential so that's going to be my starting point now we got to remove the differential and install the pinion so in case anybody's unsure where backlash is the backlash is the movement between the gears right now there's an incredible amount of backlash but if I push it up against the pinion there's nothing. So now, I gotta take my dial, set it up, and then measure again. All right, you're not gonna be able to see my dial, but you'll get the idea on how it's done. It's always good to do this a couple times, double check your measurements. You don't want to measure it once and go off of that and realize you're wrong. It'll cost you more in the long run. So do it two times, three times, as many times as you need that you feel confident enough to do the job. Okay, let's go over my measurements. So just that some of you guys don't get confused. So before I had the pinion in, the total shim thickness would have been 0 0.106. So we put the pinion in, put the preload on the pinion, measured it again so we got 0 0.080 now we got a minus 0 0.002 and now that 0 0.002 is the backlash that we need to achieve and that gives us this number 0 0.078 so that is the total amount so now we got to take the 0 0.106 minus 0 0.078 and that gives us 0 0.028 and that's our shim thickness on the ring gear side of the differential and then if you go point minus seven eight minus point zero two eight gives you point well it should be point zero five and that gives us the thickness on the opposite side the pinion side so I got my shims measured up here I got 130 and a 20 for the 50 and I got two 14s so before we measure for backlash you want to turn the differential over a few times. So right now I got my dial set up. And it's supposed to be between 0 .005 and 0 .008. But when I move my dial, I go to 0 .010. So now I got to move shims from this side and put it on this side to decrease my backlash. You don't want to add shims to this. 
because then you're putting too much load on your bearings. You can only play with the shims you got. So I get them. I'm gonna try moving. 0 0.005 from this side and put 0 0.005 on this side and then we'll remeasure. So you're right in the spec now. Backlash is 0 0.005. Oh, I got my die on the gears now so let's run it through and see how the pattern looks. There's my drive side pattern centered That's with 0 .005 backlash. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna take these out, press the real bearings on, get the pinion put in for real, then recheck all this, make sure we're still in spec. Before I check my gear pattern, I gotta make sure my pinion and differential preloads the same so my opinion was at the high end like 40 41 and to turn the differential you need another 7 to 11 so it should be like 47 inch pounds to turn this differential so i'm at like 47 right there to turn the differential yeah right like 47 46 so I'm going to check my backlash now and then check my gear pattern. So my backlash is right at the maximum, 0 0.008. So everything's good, my preload's good, this is good. I'm going to remark my gear pattern and check it. If that turns out good, we're calling it a day. There's my coast pattern. That's my drive pattern. I'm gonna roll with that and call it good. So in the end, once I set up my bearings and I got my pinion in and crushed, my uh, pinion and carrier preload was off. So I ended up moving .003 shims to the ring gear side and that moved my backlash from .005 to .008, which was uh, the max. And you need 7 to 11 inch pounds more to turn your carrier in your pinion. And I think, I can't remember what it was now, 47, 48. So I'm right in the ballpark figure right there. Since my pinion is a little on the tight side, like very extreme of the tight side, I'm going to have to watch it at first. If it gets too hot, I'm going to have to pull it out and redo it. But I'm going to see how it does, uh, do the proper breaking of the gears and everything else. But I'm going to leave my video there on installing the aux locker if you have any questions or comments post them below and as this jeep project continues i will post videos and show other things if things don't go the way they plan or whatever else so anyways thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys later